हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट मोस्ट वेलकम बी बी सी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्रजेंटेड बाई रमेश सर सो कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन फॉर क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर वन द रिविजन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ सिलेबस सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द रिविजन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ सिलेबस सो कंटेन इन चैप्टर सो आई विल टेल यू द कंटेन इन दिस चैप्टर वट आई एक्सप्लेन टूडे बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट of oops so basic concept of oops object class encapsulation data abstractions inheritance and polymorphism these are the basic concept of oops okay so i am telling first of all what is the object what is the object oriented programming so object oriented programming aims to implement the real world entity it means i will discuss the real world entity it means the object how to work object in the programming like inheritance hiding polymorphism act in the programming the main aim of oops is to be the wind together data and function into a single unit right so first of all i am telling to you the objects what is the object object is an identifiable which has the some characteristic and behavior characteristic uh, like the data types and behavior like the methods so in other word we can say the object is encapsulate the state and behavior and uh, we can say the object is a real world entity object means we can see and touch so anything is called the object like the example i will discuss here like orange orange is, uh, orange is an object so what is the characteristic it is the spherical shapes and color is orange and what is the behavior like the taste sweet and sorrow okay behavior means methods class a class is a user defined blueprint or prototype form which object are created it means uh, you can say the class is a collection of objects so many object also created in this class it is represent the set of properties and method properties means uh, data types and method means function okay what the operation is going on that are the common to all the object one types so we can say the second definition of the class class is a group of object that contain the properties and behavior like methods so here i will discuss the example of car so car different different color so different different color these are the objects like green like red like blue okay data abstractions this is the most important so what is the data abstractions hiding unnecessary background detail once again i repeat hiding unnecessary background details and showing the essential features is called data abstractions it means uh, always hide the inside the detail inside the working of anything but always show the in front of so i will tell you the example of car so what is the essential feature and detail of hiding so starter steering brake gear accelerator so we can see so this is essential feature and we can work also and detail uh, detail hiding starting of engine working of engine changing the gear how to work i don't know because this is a back side part this is a inside part this is a hiding of part of car as it is the best example of the mobile you can press the button so this is a showing the essential feature but how to work this is hiding unnecessary parts of mobile second encapsulation this is most important second topics encapsulation is the process encapsulation is the process of wrapping of data and methods in a single unit it's called the encapsulation once again i repeat encapsulation is the process of wrapping of data and method into a single unit in, is called the encapsulation so encapsulation is specially used for the security point of view you give the security to data and methods okay 
so properties attributes method and unique name are the encapsulate encapsulate means cover okay wrapper okay the common example of encapsulation is a capsule okay encapsulates all the medicine are encapsulate inside in a capsule so this is a capsule so like the capsule is a class and this is here the two bodies one is a method and second one is a variable so inside is a so medicine inside and after then cover and then you can save this capsule and you can use for long times polymorphism this is also most important polymorphism so polymorphism what is the meaning of polymorph polymorph means many form one single object act as many it means the single object perform the many type of work that allow you to perform a single action in a different way uh, so i will discuss the example of shapes draw so shapes draw like the triangle type of shapes like rectangle type of shape like circle type of shapes so these are the polymorph it means the single one person perform the many type of work that is polymorph inheritance a class which acquire properties of another class in inheritance so inheritance always used for the call the class one class to <coughs> another but the major important point this class have the some properties of another class properties these are having the some common properties so here having the two classes super class and sub class so i will discuss the super class a class whose the properties are inherit once again i repeat a class whose properties are inherit that is call parents class and base class sub class a class which is uh, which inherit the property it is also called the child class and drive class so the best example of here if a seed grow as a tree okay then the drive the properties of the tree from which the seed is it means uh, just like the seed of one tree and this uh, after then grow so same property same fruit same color also having so this is inherits inherits means like parent child relationships so i have the some property of our parents so that is inheritance and some topic i will discuss in next class okay thank you have a nice day